guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be making auto gilly latest auto gilly this auto gilly is called kiss plint this ashoke i measure 21 inches by 22 inches 21 inches by 22 inches so i'm going to be joining the center after joining the center i'm going to hem the side so after doing that I'm going to add three to four plinks just like this you can make three plinks you can make four so I'm going to be making four plinks Just finished sewing the one to tie on the back on it. The length is 16 inches. You can make it shorter by two and a half inches. So I just finished sewing it. This is how it will look like. This is the back. The measurement I'm going to be using is seven by 62 inches. Seven inches by 62 inches so I'm going to measure 2 inches I'm going to place my tape like this and measure 2 inches from the bottom to the top 2 inches then after measuring that I'm going to measure 4 inches from the bottom to the top four inches like this so I'm going to measure one and a half inch this one and a half inch from the bottom to the top one and a half inch after measuring one and a half inch I'm going to measure four inches after four inches one and a half inch after one and a half inch four inches like that until the end of the ashoke I'm using ashoke so this is four inches just the way I'm measuring it, mark with chalk. I'm going to continue like this one and a half inch four inches one and a half inch four inches but from the starting it was two inches so after there i measure four inches and one and a half so the marking still continue one and a half inch four inches one and a half inch four inches continue like that So the last one I'm still going to leave two inches just like the beginning. So I'm going to start to fold this is my four inches. After folding it, it will not give me two inches just like this after folding. So I'm going to sew with half inch, half inch down, half inch up. I'm going to sew just the tip up and down half inch down half inch up 
after folding your four inches it will not give you two inches i hope you understand my explanation i measure four inches so you are going to fold if you fold your four inches into two it will not give you two inches so that is exactly what i'm doing so i fold into two then it will not give me two inches that is the four inches i measured so i'm going to pin after i pin then i will sew with half inch down half inch up please if you do not understand you can just leave your question in the comment section so when folding i leave half inch out of it i didn't fold the one one and a half inch with the four inches i just leave the one and a half inch out then fold the four inches it will give me two inches then mark a uh, pin then i'm going to sew with half inch up half inch down i'm going to do it like this continuously until the other side you fold the four inches leave one and a half inch out you don't fold the one and a half inch fold the four inches it will give you two inches after folding into two then you sew with half inch up half inch down so after sewing this is how it will look like you can see the thread where i sew this is my half inch up and half inch down like that continue like that until you sew everything so it will not look like this after sewing i'm going to iron please pay attention to this place very carefully i'm going to flat the one i sewed like this before i iron pay attention to this part carefully it's not difficult but if you watch more than one or two times you will understand it's very easy after flatten it like this you iron I'm going to do it all through the the actual key I sew. I'm going to iron it flat like this all through. The length is 19 inches after sewing i got 19 inches which is enough so i'm going to fold into two like this and iron 
like this this is the back this is the front this side is the front so fold into two like this and iron I'm going to iron it out like this before I place on the base. Very simple to make. If you wash more than once, you will surely understand. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to place it on the base. Going to mark the middle the base is 21 inches divide by 2 will give me 10 and a half inches so I'm going to place it on top like this and pin like this I'm going to pin And this side so I'm going to do the same to the back side like this in pink After that, I'm going to be using thread and needle to tack all the ones I sew with half inch. I'm going to be tacking. So after tacking like this, I tie on the back. So I'm going to continue like this with my thread and needle. So I'm done with it. Very easy to make. Beautiful auto gilly.
Here is another beautiful one, Ant Fan Auto Gilly. I have it also in my channel. You can go and wash. So beautiful, very, very easy to make. If you have any question concerning this auto gilly and other of my videos, please just in the comment section, I will surely get back. So this is the finished look guys. Latest auto gilly, 2019 stroke, 2020. This latest auto gilly, 2019 and 2020. So beautiful. Please leave me a lovely comment, share, and like if you are new you are welcome please subscribe and remember the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload new ones thank you so much for watching this is the finished look guys thank you so much once again for watching